right, you guys, so Daniel is still feeling a little bit under the weather, unfortunately. I feel so bad for him because he is like trying to put on such a good face that he's not feeling sick, but I know he's not feeling good. And I know that he's hating that he's not like at work. So, Louie, this little naughty boy. Are you a naughty boy? Look at that tail. Let's go show him what I had to make for you. Come in, come show him. All right, so I took Louie out of the room because he was being so loud and kept trying to jump on Daniel and like get his bone and play. So I took Louie out of the room and we're just chilling out here on the couch while I edit. But he kept going to the door and like sniffing under the door and I know Lou. And after the sniff under the door comes a bark. And so, cause he wants to get in and go jump on Daniel. Well, that's not allowed, buddy. Louie, did I have to make that for you so you don't go wake up dad? So our room is that back door right there. Louis kept going to that door and trying to get in. And sorry, I'm talking kind of quiet right now. So I had to put the gate up and Louis hates this gate more than anything. <laughs> He's like so afraid of it. I don't laugh about that as to be mean. It's just funny, like it's funny. He's so afraid of this gate. And so we know that if we want to keep him out of somewhere, we put that gate up, he'll stay out. Are you staying out now, bud? Dad needs to get some sleep. He is a tired boy who doesn't feel good. And I want to like make him tea and breakfast in bed, but I don't want to wake him up. So I don't think I'm going to do any of that yet. All right, guys, thank you, Shell, A, for letting me sleep in this morning. I think I really needed it. I'm still fighting this cold a tiny bit, feeling way better, like immensely better. Thank you so much for letting me sleep in, keeping little Lou off of me. He totally is a nap wrecker when he's awake. <laughs> But guys, I'm home from work. We're off to do something pretty exciting right now. We are in the car on the freeway. We're not gonna tell you what quite yet, but you will find out shortly. Guys, we cannot wait. This has been a long time in the making, maybe slightly impulse. This has been a long time thought about, and then it kind of was like something that, we're making this happen. We're jumping in, guys. We're jumping in both feet into this YouTube world, okay? Wish us luck because we need your help. Now is the time. Guys, we're almost there and we cannot wait to show everybody what it is we are up to. It's not an automatic door. <laughs> Guys, you can see where we're at. We're back up at Picture Line, and we are so amped because we just bought a new camera. Dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 dun. Ch, ch. We're gonna get it home. Joe's <laughs> singing Superman music, and I don't think she even knows it. Was that Superman? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get it home though, and we want to show you guys everything else we got as well. We're so excited for this new equipment, and you should be too because you guys are the ones that are really gonna be enjoying Listen, this. We do it for you. We do it for you, you guys. We, I told you we're jumping both feet in. We're fully investing into this YouTube world. Let's go. All right, guys, we're getting to the point of the day where we actually show you what we have purchased, but we're having a bit of a crisis here. Our ice machine is not producing any ice. So it's hard to see back there. The whole thing's frozen up. Guys, I love Samsung a lot. They make excellent products, but their ice machines and these new refrigerators just suck. Awful. I'm sorry, Samsung. I really do love you. And our washer and dryer are Samsung. Our fridge is Samsung. And we have loved it minus the ice machine. It's not very good. We kind of want to get an external ice machine, like something that we would put over next to our sink. I don't know, do any of you have any of those? Let us know what you think of those. Are those better than these in the fridge? Yeah, obviously we're big on ice. Shell was really hoping to get a Diet Coke on ice right now, but... Oh, I just dropped a cube. There was a pebble! There was a pebble. Just fell. Wait, I got it! I got it! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try and fix this real quick. We can't video anymore until we have ice being made in this machine. It can't function. We're gonna defrost it here with the hairdryer. Hopefully this works. And hopefully it starts making ice soon. Hi everyone! My name's Louie and I need a bath. Guys, we did not get our I ice. We do not have drinks yet, but we're gonna do this video anyways for you guys. And then we'll go get ice somewhere else because our home does not have ice. <laughs> 
Guys, we are super stoked <laughs> on the <laughs> Canon oh, EOS R. Gentle, babe. Sorry, sorry. So this is Canon's mirrorless camera, and we are super excited to have this and start using this to make our videos as well as do photography. You guys know that we travel with our video setup, and then we also travel with my big ol' Canon 5D Mark III. One, two, three. That camera is not made for video. We'll just leave it there. Yeah, it's just not a great camera for video, but for photography, ooh, I love it. Long story short, woo, tangent there. We had so much gear that we were constantly, constantly traveling with. So many different charging portals that we needed just for all of our gear alone. So we decided to combine everything into one doop, doop, camera. One camera. So that's why we went with this beauty that you see before you. It does such incredible video. The photos are so beautiful as well. So when we travel, this will be our full-time videoing camera. We will still have our GoPros for like water and every like adventurous fun type thing like that. But this little beauty that you see before you will be our full-time videography camera. We will also use it when we travel for photography. So we will now be putting this one on our tripod and taking photos with this camera for our Instagram that you guys see on our Instagram pages and all of our travel photography that you guys see in these videos will be done now on this camera. We wanted to combine everything to one camera. We just condensed everything down. We only have one thing to travel with now. I will still be shooting weddings with my Mark III, but I will also be bringing this camera as a backup camera. You never know, you might convert but yeah, 100% to true. this. I've heard a lot of people have. That is true. I might move over to mirrorless completely. And this is so lightweight. It is so small. Louis wants to go outside. Okay. <laughs> One thing I want to say kind of up front here is there are a lot of good cameras out there. Sony makes some amazing cameras. Nikon makes some amazing cameras. There's a lot of great cameras out there. Canon makes some amazing cameras. And so when we were looking for a new camera, we had a lot of kind of criteria that we wanted to fill. This one came closest to what we wanted or what we do. Mm -hmm. There's Sony cameras out there that do better video. There's other cameras out there that might take better still photos. But this one for us came closest to fulfilling all of our needs. One of the main needs was this has to be good at video. And this does 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is gonna be perfect because I honestly mainly film in 1080p. This does do 4K, but I kind of, I'm probably gonna do a lot of 1080p. Autofocus was a must. Like Shell said the Canon Mark III, not a good autofocus. This is one of the best autofocusing cameras in the industry right now. It's super fast, super accurate. For video and photo, which is like mm -hmm. so amazing. This has face tracking and an eye tracking. Like it will literally track our eye. That's a monster lens, you guys. We just had a baby camera that we put a monster lens on, but look at that beauty! So autofocus was another huge one for us. The third thing was this had to take exceptional photos because she's a photographer. We're gonna be doing a lot of photography on our trip. So this had to do good photography. And this camera actually has it's the same sensor acted as the 5D Mark IV, which is an even better camera than the Shell one currently has. And then probably the biggest selling point for us on this camera, since we do videos of ourselves a lot, was this. Boom, baby. You now can we're see what you're videoing from the screen right here. The Sonys do not do this. A lot of cameras do not have a screen that fully articulates and faces forward so you can look at it and see exactly what you're videoing. And what's even cooler is this is a touch screen. So you can just touch the screen, focus on what you want to focus on, move from her face to something in the background. That was another thing that the Sony did not have was <clears throat> it was a touch screen some of the time, but it wasn't a full functioning touch screen. And this one is a complete full functioning touch screen, which we honestly cannot wait for. It will make a world of difference. Dun, yes. da, 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 da. The next piece of hardware we got is obviously a microphone. A microphone is a must on a camera if you are recording audio. Our GoPro has the same microphone on it right now. So we went with what we knew. This is one of the smallest, highly rated microphones made by Rode. This is the Rode Video Micro. Exceptional, exceptional microphone. So this will be going on the top of this guy right here. And then to complete the setup, we have the little Manfrotto. This is the Pixie Mini tripod. We also use this one on the GoPro. We've used it for a long time. We really love it. It's simple, it's easy. 
it gets the job done. And it's cool colors, so everything's red and black here. We like that, we like to match. <laughs> so we just swapped out the little 35 millimeter lens and look at how cute and little this thing is. I mean, look at this lens cap. Just it's like so baby. I mean, look at that compared to this. Look how cute. I just love it. <laughs> so the 35 millimeter lens, this lens here, this is what they call a prime lens. In other words, there is no zoom feature to this. It's 35 millimeters, that's it. Whereas this one is 24 to 70. 24 to 105. Oh my gosh, I correct myself. Monster Sorry. zoom. So guys, we're super excited about this. We cannot wait for tomorrow. We're actually gonna get outside, go break this thing in, take some photos, take some video, and then we'll share them with you. You. Probably gonna be a little bit of a learning curve here, so bear with us. I'm gonna have to figure out how to video with this thing. She's also gonna have to learn how to take photos with it. I'm sure that'll be a quick transition since this is also Canon. Yeah, I was gonna say, luckily the menu and everything is the same. Is there a comparison? Old setup, new setup. The old setup, we're using a GoPro Hero 7 inside of this awesome case that gives us a lot of capability to mount things. So we mounted our microphone to it. I even have an adapter here to mount a light to it. This is an adapter so that we can use the Rode Video Micro with the GoPro. So the mic actually has to plug into the adapter, which then plugs into the GoPro. And then we've been using the same tripod for both setups, same microphone for both setups. This one has a little bit of fringe on it. This one I've uh, got too close to the fire a few times. It's kind of melted a lot of the, uh, the hairs on it. I'll be more careful about that in the future for sure. If you want to take a closer look at any of our gear, whether it be our old GoPro setup or this new Canon setup, we have some affiliate links in the description. Go take a look at them. Go ahead and give them a click if you want. The camera and the lenses we bought from Picture Line. So go check out those there. The rest of the stuff we got on Amazon, very easy to find, very easy to get. So definitely check them out in the description if you guys are interested in looking at this stuff or even picking it up for yourself. All right, guys, that's it for us tonight. We are going to set this up a little bit more in depth, get all of our menu and all of our settings where we want them perfectly so that we can go party and have a crazy awesome adventure with you guys tomorrow. And we cannot wait. Daniel Cannot wait so to dig into this sucker. About manual. <laughs> <laughs> he loves manuals. This is gonna be great. I'm excited guys. That was the big surprise. I hope you guys are excited. I think this is really gonna change things for us and make our videos just a little bit more epic. Take them to the next level. You know what I mean? Like they're just gonna be, I mean, he already is a master editor, but they are just going to take everything just up a notch, you know, to the next level. We do it for you guys. <laughs> we love you. We hope you feel the love. Make sure you guys subscribe because you're gonna wanna see the epicness that is coming your way in these next videos. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Check out our Instagram at Dan and Shell, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs> see ya.